is an overview of the entrance sequence animation that will animate item-based widgets according to a filter or once the user scrolls down to them on the page. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. To get started with sequence entrance animations, we need to add one of the supported widgets to the page. There are numerous widgets that support sequence entrance animations, and I'm just going to show a couple of these, but you could do the same with all the ones that support this. So first of all, I'm going to add a supported widget to the page. And over here, we're going to see Sequence Entrance Animation section. Open that section, and over here we have an option to choose what kind of sequence entrance animation we want to have on that widget. What a sequence entrance animation does, it makes the items animate gradually to the page in a sequence. So it's sort of adding movement and making your widget a little bit more special for the user once he scrolls to it. Now we've seen it automatically right now, but this animation occurs only once the user scrolls to it. So let's edit this section a little bit, make it a little bit less wide so it will look a little bit better. Let's add some padding on top over here in the section. Push that down and back to the sequence entrance animation settings. The next setting is for the distance. Now this means that when it's scrolling from the left to the right, how long will that be? So I'm just going to show you both options like the shortest one and the longest one. So the shortest one is going to start something from like over here and the longest one is going to start a little bit longer. So it's going to come way over from the page. So that's for this part. Animation duration is for how long each animation will take. And this is by seconds. So let's just make that a lot bigger, like two seconds. So we can see that each one will take two seconds to come into the page. The steps is a really important feature. Why? Because it's telling us how long to delay each item from the other. So let's add a delay of two seconds as well. So we can see that's the first one, two seconds, and then the second is coming. So each two seconds, a new item is coming in. Animation order is for the order. You can start from first to last, which is what we've done right now, or we can change this to last to first. So it's going to animate the last one up to the first one. Blur is just to add some blur. So right now you can see it's adding some blur. It's coming from a blur to non-blur. So if we wanted to cancel that overall, we could change it to no blur. And now the animations will have no blur inside of them. So that's just kind of a question of what you're looking to achieve and what kind of animation you want. And of course, if we want, we can add a stronger blur than we had earlier. So now it's really, really blurry and becoming not blurry at all. So these settings are available for many, many of our widgets. So let's just add another special widget that we have, which is a rhombus grid. I'm going to add that to the page. Sequence animation. This time, let's do it from the bottom. And ta-da. Now it's animating these from the bottom. So you can also edit all the settings over here and achieve the exact effect that you want. Now, a really cool use case for this. So another use case to use the sequence entrance animation is with a post or product grid using filters. And why I'm saying that is sometimes the users want to filter the grid and then for the animation to reoccur, which is really awesome. So over here inside of my post grid, which is just one example of where we could use this, I'm going to select two terms that I want to filter between and over here we need to select or because we have two terms and above that I'm going to add my filter so let's add a filter 
And the quickest way to sync the categories over here to the ones over here is just to use the sync option over here. Now in the back end it won't show the exact uh, taxonomies, but once we preview the page, we'll see only the categories that are relevant inside of the grid. Now, let's jump back into the new feature that we're talking about, which is sequence entrance animation. And I'm just going to use from the bottom over here. And you can see that they're animating from the bottom. Now I'm going to save the page. And what I want to show you guys is now that each time a user will filter, the animation will reoccur. So it's not just acting as an entrance animation once you scroll to it, but also as a filter animation once the user filters the page. How cool is that? So that's about it. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. If you have any requests, you can do that as well. And I'm going to see you in the next video.